Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a zip file. This is a zip file. If we try to open it, for example with winzip, you can see it fails. Central directory not found, cannot open the file, doesn't appear to be a valid archive. Yeah, also I only have winzip for demonstration purposes. I hate the software with a passion, but let's take a look at 7-zip. It also cannot open it. Cannot open file as archive. So, we can fix this. And I'm going to show you four methods of fixing a zip file. Two of them don't work for this zip file, but maybe they will work for yours. And two of them work for this zip file, but maybe they will not work for yours. So you have to try them out until you find a solution or until you give up. So here is object fix zip, for example, free software, by which I mean freeware. And we're just going to go through the steps and we can, let's see, can we drag and drop? Nope, we cannot. We cannot drag and drop. We have to press the add button. So when we do that, we can just hit this file is broke and next. And uh, we don't... Well, let's try it. Let's try to test it. We don't really want to repair it. We really just want to extract the files, but we can choose what to do. So let's just press next and rich edit line insertion error. Uh, that was not useful. And that's it. That's all we get. Wait, wait a second. Yes, of course. I mean, if you you say you say finished. Okay, so this is not very good for this case. We have nothing in this folder, even though it was created. So object fix, you did not work this time. Maybe you work for our zip files. Now we're gonna try disk internal zip repair. Disk internal is pretty good, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. So let's try it out. We're gonna select the file. Can we drag and drop? No, we cannot drag and drop. Okay, so we're picking the file and it immediately suggests uh, this solution file name. Let's just uh, continue. Oh, and look at that. It actually finds, it actually does find like some files in there, but then it shows us this. What is this? We don't really know. We don't really know what this is. Well, let's hope it saves it anyway and finish. Okay, what do we get? And it's even more broken than before. Oh boy, what even is this? Oh wait, can fix this? Let's... Tr yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I did not think so. Nice try though. I would like the partial file, sure. Uh, oh my goodness, I am... Uh, no, please, please stop, please stop. Okay, so do we get anything? We get folders and uh, incomplete files. Hey, these are complete. So I guess it could have worked like a combination between disk internals and WinZip, apparently. But I really don't get it. Why Why even did the disk internals screw up the fixing? So let's actually try one more thing. Let's try, uh, sorry, let's try disk internals on the recovered file. And you can just see how it gets worse. And we have a recovered, recovered file and we're gonna try using that. This has no sense anymore. This is just for fun. Okay, one more, one last final time. Here we go. And it's it is it's just the worst. It just got worse and worse and the file got smaller and then bigger. Anyways, these are completely useless. Disk internals failed this test. So now let's move on to the solutions that actually do work. We can shift right click here, create a command line window here. And now the thing is you have to have WinZip installed and the command line tools. Let me show you what the command line tools are. The WinZip command line is a free plugin for WinZip. So, so you have to install it separately and you can use it with the evaluation version. So let me just show you how it works. The uh, link is in the description, of course. Personally, I don't recommend it. I recommend another tool that I'm going to show you after this. But let me show you how it works in case you already have WinZip. Basically, in the command line, you type this command path to the WinZip location, then WZZIP, that file only exists if you have the command line tools installed, then minus YF, and then the name of your file, which is, uh, this file is broke, so let's just run this, and then we have to press enter because this is the evaluation uh, version, I think that's the reason, and that just starts fixing it, and now we just wait. Okay, I think it took about 20 seconds. And the wonderful thing about this is it completely fixed the file. Where is it? Broke fixed here. Okay, okay, I can't stand WinZip anymore. Let's just unzip it. Here we can unzip it with 7-zip even, and it completely works. Everything is in here, as it should be. Uh, all the freaking files that are, should be here are here. So that is nice. 
But if you don't want to use the command line or, understandably, don't want to install WinZip, then there's one more tool which is free and seems to be trustworthy. And the tool I'm talking about is ZFX, which is zip to fix. I don't know why ZFX means zip to fix. I guess zip f x. Anyways, anyways, this tool is free, looks a bit like some kind of hacker software, but it works. So I can just select the file in here and wait. And it is even faster than WinZip for some, for some reason. Let's check the result. Here it is, the fixed version. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just unzip it with 7-zip. Yep, and here we go. It just works perfectly as well. Fantastic. So these are the two tools you can use. On one hand, WinZip command line tools. On the other hand, zip to fix. Links are in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have fun repairing zip files.